Rossano Rubicone D. Dead, Italian actor and ex-husband of Ivana Trump dies aged 49 Rossano was the fourth husband of Ivana, but they maintained an on-off relationship after their 2009 divorce. The Italian actor and model passed away following a reported year-long illness. Rossano Rubicondi, the former husband of Ivana Trump, has passed away, image, Willie Schneider slash Rex slash Shutterstock by Seamus Duff 01 colon 06, 30th of October 2021 updated 01 colon 23, October 30th 2021, comments Italian actor and model Rossano Rubicondi has passed away following a reported year-long illness, it was revealed on Friday. The star who is also famous for being the toy boy lover of 72-year-old Ivana Trump, was just 49 years old when he died. News of Rossano's death was broken by Italian television presenter, Simona Ventura on Friday evening, with the European star taking to social media to share the sad update. Simona wrote, Rossano. Thanks for the journey we made together, for the good times and the bad and also the tears and laughter, so many, and everything that we did together. She added, farewell, rip. A cause of death has not been announced, however an Italian report has claimed Rossano, had been ill for a year ahead of his death. Ivana and Rossano had dated for six years before they tied the knot in 2008, when he was 36 and she was 59. Their marriage came 16 years after Ivana divorced President Donald Trump, who she was in a marriage with from 1977 to 1992. While Ivana and Rossano's marriage was short-lived, the pair divorced in 2009 after just one year, it was not the end of their romance. They continued to enjoy an on-off relationship until 2019, at which point Ivana declared they had, called it quits. However, the couple were spotted together in New York last November. Their wedding cost a reported $3 million, two pounds, two million, and was hosted by Donald with 400 guests and with Ivana and Donald's daughter, Ivanka acting as maid of honor. He worked as a model and also enjoyed success as an actor, featuring in productions including the TV show Professione Fantasma and the film Natalia Beverly Hills. His last film credit was the 2018 project Head Full of Honey which featured Nick Nolte, Matt Dillon and Emily Mortimer in the cast. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.